International Accounting Standard number 10, that is events after the reporting period. This is a very simplified accounting standard, deals with only two issues that uh, how to tackle the events after the reporting period. One is the adjusting event, another is the non adjusting events. So, what is the definition of uh, events after the reporting date? For example, the accounting year end is 31st December. So, an event which could be a favorable one or an unfavorable one that occurs between the end of the reporting period for example it is 31st december and the date on the on which the financial statements are authorized for issue so the authorization date and the reporting date in between if there is any event occurred then that is called the event after the reporting period so, so let's assume that our reporting period is 1st January 16, 31st December 16. This is the reporting period. So in this reporting period and authorization, let's date is assumed that 31st March 17. So from December 16 till March 17, if any event occurred, how to deal with that event. This is the topic of IAS 10 and that is called event after the reporting period from this and that. Now, what is an adjusting event and what is a non adjusting event? But first of all, before moving to the definition of adjusting event and non adjusting event, let's discuss the accounting treatment that if you find any adjusting event, what to do if any non adjusting event, then how to tackle this event. So if the event that occurred between these two date is classified as adjusted event then what to do then you have to report that event and you have to record that event so events after the reporting date that provide further evidence of condition that existed at the end of the reporting period including events that indicates that the going concern assumption in relation to whole or part of the enterprise is not appropriate what you have to do you have to adjust this event means you have to record this event that occurred after the reporting date but as it's classified as adjusting event you have to record it at 31st december but if the event classified as a non-adjusting event then do not adjust for non-adjusting event or condition that arose after the end of the reporting period simply you need to disclose and disclosure will be provided when the nature of the event is material if the nature of a non adjusting event is immaterial then do not disclose or no disclosure is needed so simply if you have an adjusting event record it if you have non adjusting event check it whether it's material or not if it is material disclose it if not material then ignore it so you can see the example you might have uh, one of the example of uh, adjusting event is uh, you have uh, outstanding receivable at reporting date and you come across an information about the bankruptcy of a customer. So this bankruptcy of customer is an adjusting event. Similarly, you have reported inventory at cost or NRV, whichever is lower and you came to know that that your inventory price has fallen. That is an adjusting event. But as far as the uh, information like asset destroyed by fire, asset destroyed by flood is a non adjusting event. Uh, court cases, uh, decisions are adjusting event. Issuance of shares is non adjusting event. Issuance of loan stock, merger and acquisition, these are non adjusting events. So, what exactly the definition of adjusting event and non adjusting event? So, an adjusting event is an event after the reporting period that provide further evidence. What? It provides you further evidence of condition that existed at the end of the reporting period. So the important thing is that you will classify the post reporting date information as adjusting event when it provides further evidence about condition that existed already at the end of the reporting period. And as far as non adjusting event is concerned, an event after the reporting period that is indicative of the main word is that provide further evidence of the condition that existed and that is indicative of condition 
that arose after the end of the reporting period. So in the case of adjusting event condition is there, but in case of non adjusting event condition arises after the reporting date. Sometimes students might be confused that uh, uh, how you can decide about condition existed or not. So the simple solution is that think about it at 31st December. Are you uh, ready are you or do you have uh, the exact information available do you have the actual information available or you are waiting for the information for example you have reported something on which information is not clear that means condition existed or you have reported something on the basis of estimation now that means you are waiting for the information now if further information comes then it means it relates to the 31st december date condition existed at the reporting date and if you have recorded something at 31st December properly on, on actual basis, then further information is providing you indication of uh, some new information and that is not an adjusting event. So for example, let me write a few example of uh, adjusting event. One of the example of adjusting event information about uh, bankruptcy of customer you heard about a bankruptcy of customer after the reporting date fall in inventory value decision about court case pending at reporting date that is very important these are a few example of adjusting event now if you see that uh, if you want to know that uh, some information about the non adjusting event so let's uh, let me write it here non adjusting let me write it here some non adjusting so one of the example might be asset or inventory destroyed by fire such news required to be disclosed but do not require to be adjusted similarly uh, another example might be issuance of new shares issuance of new loan stock similarly fall in the value of investment one of the information is fall in the value of investment now you will be surprised that fall in the value of inventory is an adjusting event but as far as fall in value of investment is concerned it is non adjusting event because the investment is to be reported at 31st december fair value so you don't need any information now if in investment value decreases that is an information that needs to be disclosed rather than needs to be adjusted so the adjusting event you have to record the non adjusting event either to disclose or not to disclose one issue is pertaining to the going concern status of an entity what is going concern we take an assumption that business will survive for the forthcoming future for the foreseeable future so if normally we prepare accounts on the basis of taking an assumption that business is a going concern and we prepare accounts on the basis of historical cost but after the reporting date if you need, if you if you came across information about going concern issue then what an entity shall not prepare its financial statement on a going concern basis if management determines after the reporting period either that it intends to liquidate the entity or to cease trading or that it has no realistic alternative but to do so then in that case that is an adjusting event and need to be adjusted how you have to report your accounts on breakup value basis rather than on historical cost basis similarly another issue is the declaration of dividend after the reporting period if an entity declares dividend after the reporting period the entity shall not recognize those dividend as a liability at the end of the reporting period because it is classified as non adjusting event.